Thank you very much for inviting me to this wonderful workshop. I would like to talk about the water pressure method, which is a new ESD technique to improve difficult situation today. These are my COIs to disclose. ESD has already become very popular practice, at least in our country. Actually, we usually perform more than 80,000 ESD procedures by year. That means ESD is a kind of standard practice for all superficial lesions in the GI tract. ESD is very effective and less invasive comparing with other treatment modalities. However, ESD is very difficult and time-consuming, and sometimes it is even risky. Technical difficulties of ESD is completely different depending on organs. Among the GI tract, duodenum is the most challenging part to do ESD because of poor maneuverability of the endoscope and uh, difference of anatomical feature of the duodenum. In order to overcome these technical difficulties, I originally developed water pressure method. In this technique, I usually use SD food of Fujifilm. After making initial mucosal incision, I flushed the normal saline through the water irrigation channel. As a result, I can easily open the submucosal space with the active pressure of the normal saline. Then, following submucosal dissection usually becomes quite easy and safe. Even after successful ESD procedure, Delayed complication can be occurred in the duodenum due to presence of pancreatic juice and bile acid. Therefore, complete closure of mucosal defect is very important to avoid serious delayed complications. We developed the string clip suturing method to achieve complete closure of the wound. In this technique, surgical suture thread tied to metallic arm of the clip introduced together with the clip through the working channel of the endoscope, then anchored at both the distal and proximal edge of the mucosal defect. Large opening is easily appro approximated by pulling the thread and completely closed by additional end clips. It is mandatory to have at least 3.2 millimeters working channel for this technique. I would like to show you actual procedure of the string clip suturing method. Now we can see the introduced end clip together with the surgical string tightened on to the uh, metallic arm of the end clip and anchored it on the distal edge. Then introduce the second end clip and intentionally capture both mucosal edge and part of the muscle layer and prepare the third end clip just beside the previous end clips and pulling the string to approximate the large opening. Now it becomes easy situation to capture both proximal and distal edge of the mucosa and it was completely closed. And preparing fourth end clip, again pulling back the string it becomes easy situation to capture both uh, proximal and distal edge. After closing half of the defect, I cut the uh, string with the scissors forceps and applied the second the surgical uh, string and clip uh, to the remaining mucosal defect. And again, uh, I approximated the uh, opening uh, by pulling the string and applied the additional end clip to close the mucosal defect. It becomes easy situation to close the uh, remaining mucosal defect. And this is the final result. I would like to show you some of the cases treated by the water pressure method. This is a flat duodenal region located just beside the major papilla. It is quite difficult situation to remove the entire region by standard EMR technique. However, surgical treatment is too aggressive uh, for this kind of flat lesion. Uh, therefore, we decided to perform ESD in this particular case. 
This is a really challenging case because this region is located at the ventral side and extending very close to the major papilla. I carefully checked the maneuverability of the endoscope. It was relatively smooth, but it was very difficult to control the direction. Uh, therefore, I decided to rotate the endoscope in order to make the uh, target region located at 6 o'clock side and start the injection uh, from the anal side uh, using Grisel solution. By using BIO3 and dry cut mode, I started mucosal incision very carefully, starting from the left side to the anal side. The maneuverability was relatively poor, but still it was controllable by talking my list and using right left channel, I could make a mucosal incision relatively smooth. Now we can see the nice incision line using water pressure. Then quickly move back to the oral side, again injected the submucosal fluid cushion through the knife, then continue the mucosal incision going to the left side and connected the incision line. After making initial mucosal incision, I use the water pressure to open the submucosal space and quickly start the submucosal dissection by tracing inner edge of the incised area using swift quark. It was very smooth and the water pressure method is quite effective to open the submucosal layer. Usually, it is very difficult to open the submucosal layer, but by using active pressure of the brushed water, I can easily open the submucosal space. This is the beauty of the water pressure method. Now we can see the beautiful submucosal layer opened by the water pressure. In case of having difficulties to con conduct submucosal dissection, water pressure method is still very effective because we can check the remaining submucosal tissue by giving active pressure of the normal cell line. Then hook the remaining submucosal tissue and conduct the submucosal dissection safely. Using water pressure method, our remaining submucosal dissection went very smoothly. Now most of the submucosal dissection were conducted at the left side, then I moved on to the right side. Again injected the submucosal fluid cushion through the knife and quickly conduct the mucosal incision going to the left side. And after connecting the mucosal incision, again I gave uh, active pressure to the submucosal layer, then quickly start the submucosal dissection using swift coag. Now we can see the beautiful submucosal layer stained by the indigo carmine, and the following submucosal dissection becomes relatively uh, smooth and easy. Carefully uh, check the remaining submucosal tissue. I could dissect the submucosal tissue very smooth by using right left channel and talking my list from left to right. For the remaining mucosa very close to the major papilla, I decided to use viscous agent which is a sodium alginate. Injected relatively large amount of solution to the submucosal layer and carefully conducted mucosal incision using dry cut mode. Now we can see the major papilla and checking the border of the major papilla, I carefully conducted mucosal incision, not to going to the papilla side, but uh, not to cut the tumor itself. Now we can see the incision line. I traced the same line using Swiss quag in order to open the incision line and visualize the submucosal layer. I traced here a few times and the finally it becomes uh, possible to recognize the blue submucosal layer just beside the major papilla. Then conducted the submucosal dissection from the oral side by using water pressure method. It was quite easy to open the submucosal space and carefully dissect the submucosal tissue just beside the major papilla from the submucosal side.
I carefully check the remaining submucosal tissue just beside the major papilla, and hooking the remaining tissue from the papilla side, I could uh, safely dissect the remaining submucosal tissue just beside the major papilla. It was very difficult situation, but fortunately, I could preserve entire major papilla. After the finishing the major papilla side, I continued the submucosal dissection using water pressure method. Remaining submucosal tissue was easily recognized by active pressure of the normal cell line and quickly finished the resection and corrected resected specimen, and this is the final result. Of course, we completely closed the mucosal defect using the string clip suturing method. Fortunately, the resected specimen was well differentiated adenocarcinoma confined within mucosal layer sized 42 by 40 millimeters. And there was no vascular infiltration, therefore, we achieved curative resection and could avoid unnecessary pancreatic duodenectomy in this particular case. This is a much more difficult case, which is a relatively large protruded lesion with muscle traction sign. Uh, this lesion was located at sigmoid colon, and originally this patient was scheduled for surgery. But unfortunately, this patient refused to surgery because previous biopsy couldn't uh, prove the cancerous component, even though it was suspicious of adenocarcinoma. Therefore, uh, my surgical colleague asked me to do ESD. The lesion was completely occupying the entire lumen, and there was a remarkable muscle traction sign. After immersing the entire lesion with the normal cell line, I injected the glycerol solution to the submucosal layer. There was a remarkable non-lifting sign at the central part of this region. I made an initial mucosal incision at the anal side and quickly opened the submucosal space by using the water pressure method. I carefully dissected on the both lateral side and visualized the most fibrotic area with the water pressure method. Then approach to the fibrotic tissue using the metallic tip of the dual knife J and carefully cut this fibrotic area using dry cut mold. It was very hard tissue but was possible to conduct submucosal dissection using dry cut mold. Now you can see the open space under the fibrotic area. I again carefully conducted additional submucosal dissection through this area under the direct vision utilizing the water pressure method. Finally, I could completely uh, clear the fibrotic tissue. After the submucosal dissection, I continued the mucosal incision at the anal side and finalized the circumferential mucosal incision. Then quickly restart the submucosal dissection for the remaining submucosal tissue. Uh, it was relatively uh, smooth by using water pressure method even with very difficult situation. Now I completed the resection and this is the final result. This was massively invasive adenocarcinoma with lymph vascular infiltration. Therefore, finally, this patient accepted surgical treatment. There are many advantages for the water pressure method. Firstly, it is simple and easy. Secondly, it is available to open the submucosal space, even with the difficult situations such as gravitational side, narrow space, severe fibrosis, and perpendicular approach. All these are the difficult situations to do ESD. And it is available to keep a good vision by avoid light reflection and smoky effect. And of course, it can accelerate the procedure. There are many important points to note in the water pressure method. Basically, good preparation is always very important to keep good vision. And pre-coagulation of the blood vessel is very important to keep a good visualization. 
And of course, immediate actions should be taken in case of perforation in order to avoid leakage of luminal contents. These are my conclusions. The water pressure method is a simple and easy technique which is very effective even for difficult situations. And of course, it can accelerate ESD procedures. Thank you very much for your kind attention.